Yeah. Still yeah, right. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Um, today I will introduce you uh, to one of my projects, which is called uh, Surfer, a real time ray tracer for algebraic surfaces. And usually uh, all talks about this program start with uh, an equation, something like this. So you have uh, an equation in three unknowns, x, y, and z. And you can imagine this to be, uh, uh, to represent coordinates in three dimensional space. So the solutions to this um, equation, this gives a surface in three dimensional space. In this case, for example, you get this type of surface. So you can represent rather uh, complicated geometry by um, compared to the com uh, compared to the complexity of the geometry, is uh, rather simple. So um, now I want to show a short uh, introduction movie on the program. Did you ever ask yourself if there is something beyond lines, parabolas, or circles? Something creative, colorful, and interactive? With Surfer, you can experience the connection between formulas and forms, between mathematics and art. It includes a tutorial with simple equations and all the basic tricks. Just invent an equation and play with it. Create amazing images, animations of algebraic surfaces. Surfer is free and can be used in exhibitions, museums, in schools or at home. The program features a gallery of services and equations with background information. For example, the mathematics of world record services with many singularities. Enter the world of Surfer and enjoy doing and learning maths visually. Thanks to our public relations team, we have this video. Um, so this is the actual uh, interface for the program. So we have a, the uh, surface display and the equation and nice touchscreen interface and so on. So this is a user's perspective to the program. But um, from a developer's point of view, we have actually three parts. So there's one and one is the user interface written in the Java FX which uh, makes it uh, scalable, looks uh, relatively nice, I think, and it's uh, intuitive to use. Then there are uh, very important galleries and explanation tags um, based on LaTeX uh, compiled to PDF. To get the user started, and you always have a, um, a surface combined with the explanation text. And uh, finally, you have the rendering core, which is a Java library, and it does all the hard work, which means uh, some kind of computer algebra, numerical methods, parallelization, um, these things. Um, in the background, uh, a ray tracer is uh, working. Um, most of you are probably familiar with the concept of ray tracing. So we are shooting rays uh, through the image plane and intersect them with the uh, with the scene. The uh, interesting part here is that um, the objects we are dealing with are nonlinear objects defined by the equations, and the ray tracer is also uh, in real time as long as the uh, equation is not too complicated. Um, originally, it was planned to use this uh, software only in uh, exhibitions about uh, mathematics and geometry. And um, yeah, here's one example from Berlin in 2008, where everything started. Here's one from uh, Belgrade in 2011, and another one from uh, Buenos Aires. Um, but uh, it turned out very soon that uh, users um, use this software to create uh, mathematical art. So this is uh, one uh, piece of artwork created with uh, our software. Um, here's another one, maybe a third one here. And some users push the, uh, the boundaries of the software and reach uh, the limit where the software isn't able to uh, create nice images anymore or um, like um, the, the true represents the true geometry of the surface, and this is actually a picture of the numerical error uh, that uh, is involved in the algorithms, and this is, uh, has been sent to us by the user of our program. Um, yeah, and then I use us to send pictures like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, then users also started to use uh, the Surfer software to uh, educate uh, school children in uh, mathematics and teach them about basic algebraic geometry. That worked uh, really well. 
And we also use this uh, software for uh, science communication. And there are several spin off projects like uh, this one in the MoMath, the Museum of Mathematics in New York. Um, and this is not the only spin off project. Uh, since I released uh, the uh, rendering core um, of our uh, software, so for example, there's a port to the iPhone. It's not yet ready, but uh, will be released soon, I think. And then um, a program where you can create um, a surface based on your name and various others. The reason uh, why it works uh, so well is that a surface um, shown in an exhibition project which is called Imaginary Open Mathematics. And here's uh, a small map which just uh, shows all the locations where the um, exhibition has been uh, presented. And it's, uh, currently, it's over 110 cities in more than uh, 23, I think actually 24 now, uh, countries. And we have a lot of visitors. and. Yeah, you can just uh, start using the program as a regular user. You can uh, create projects, uh, you can create uh, pictures, use it in education, for events, workshop, to teach mathematics and um, to invent something new based on the, on the nice surfaces. Or you can also uh, join our team because currently we have a lot of users in the project, uh, but um, very few developers, I will say. Um, yeah, and it would be nice to have a little bit more support. And that's always the end of my talk. Thanks. <laughs> Think about a question. Okay. So, there's no switch, right? No, it's just. Oh, here, wait. This should work. Yes. A question for you. Um, okay. Um, the the uh, Linux distribution SUSE for a long time had uh, um, images of these kind of surfaces on their covers yes. as mm -hmm. well. Uh, I think at some point they also released the software, or it was at least known which software they used. Uh, yes. Is there any relation to your program? Yes, it is. Um, the software was called a uh, Surf. Um, and I also know the, the authors of the, um, of the pictures um, which were used for the uh, SUSE distributions. Um, but I think it's uh, no longer maintained, the project. And um, that's the reason why we built our own rendering core and the new... Um, so the, the important part here is the user interface, <laughs> which is targeted for exhibitions and so on. User interface is more important than many people think. So if you have a nice user interface, you attract more users than if you have normal users. I mean, we are usually not normal users. We are the development community, and it's for us it's, uh, something different. But regular users they t tend to like uh, nice interfaces, and that's uh, something really important. And the original project just was a command line project, I think. So, um, regarding the rendering core, are you implementing your own equation solver? Are you uh, doing approximation? How basically are you doing the ray intersection? I implemented my own. Um, intersection algorithms uh, specifically for this type of surfaces and it only works with algebraic surfaces and that's the reason why we have uh, we are, why we are able to be um, in real to render in real time so using like a computer algebra system for example would be too slow because it's not they have, they have uh, good algorithms as well but if you have everything integrated and optimized for rendering then it's uh, something different thank you Yeah.